Hi, I'm Eric Meeks and you're watching In Store Designer. Sex appeal. It's an important aspect to consider when designing your home. Today is all about designing for the senses and how that affects your moods and your desires. 22 Bond Street has all of this coursing through its design DNA. So let's go inside and find out what's in store. So I'm here with Dana and Sherry of 22 Bond Street. I know you guys have a really interesting design philosophy here. Can you guys tell me about that a little bit? It's really all about the senses. Everything is here for us to appreciate and enjoy everything. It's, you know, the things that you hear. Music is such an awesome source. Smell is another amazing source. And it's such a um, sense, like smell has so much to do with memory and how you feel. And a lot sure. of people forget that. So, and we like to do it subtly. Feng shui, a little bit of music, a little bit of sound, a little, it's like a little salt and, salt and pepper here and there. And it goes a long way. It certainly does. Most of the furniture that we carry here and most of the designs are more sexy than what you can find anywhere else. And we stand behind um, not only furnishing a home and creating a home environment, but making it sexy and cool. This is um, the face of sexiness, this particular couch. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's one of our most beloved pieces. Um, and this is faux reptile, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is not the cheap faux reptile when you go and it's too shiny and it's funky colors. We put so much time and energy in finding the right materials that will not look cheesy, that will be price um, savvy, and they will look phenomenal. Our design DNA really is encompassed around old school Paris, old okay. school London, mm -hmm. With a little bit of a twist of uh, you know modern industrial and rock and roll and rock and, and, rock roll, and roll exactly right. yes. Basically, one of the things that people are looking for is longevity when they're yes. making a large, big ticket item purchase. Totally. They want to make sure that what they're getting is going to last. Fabrics. Ninety-nine percent of our fabrics are all industrial grade. Mm -hmm. So um, we actually call them Paris Hilton proof, which is funny. Paris Hilton proof. <laughs> because how did you how did you come up with that? The the Paris Hilton came from um, you know pretty much using faux leathers that you can stand on with your high heels that so doesn't puncture. And it doesn't puncture. That's it doesn't the, absorb. That's the Paris yeah. Hilton. That's yeah. the Paris Hilton part. Yes. When she stands on couches and stuff like at clubs. Yes, yeah, because we actually <laughs> yeah. In, in Vegas, there there are two clubs there that actually, um, you know, they actually showed me some marks, and they're like, these are the battle wounds of Paris Hilton. Industrial velvet—that's two words I don't think right? would it's ever an go together. Yes, absolutely. But you so, have that. Yes, we do. Whether it's uh, velvet blends or linen blends, it's uh, fabrics that people are like, I can't believe it. I thought I would have to get like ducking or canvas or denim, you know, something very, very basic. These are the fabrics you can clean easily. All you need to have is sponge, a little bit of so soap, and lukewarm water. Everything mm -hmm. is out. Because if I had a velvet couch or something, it would be covered in plastic like my grandmother's. Right? Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Don't, don't sit on that. Don't sit on that. So, this one, I'm guessing, is not mahogany. No. I'm <laughs> guessing <laughs> right. Good guess. How do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Experience, I guess. Well, um, this is gray oak. Okay. It's been white powdered and gray washed. It has this tremendous, beautiful, solid wood base. And you don't, you don't go really around town and you find things that look like that. I think people would think this just looks like some sort of steel or something. It looks like aluminum. Or yeah. aluminum, right? Mm -hmm. Brushed aluminum. However, this is zinc and these are so easy to maintain. I think a lot of people, when they look at interior design and um, they see industrial things, they shy away from it. But I, don't, I think what they can see, especially from how we have it set up here, that if you put some softer elements around it, it really pops out this industrial element and it doesn't feel like some cold start totally. sort of table. It feels very warm, in fact, with exactly. the things that are around it. One of the things that you guys stress a lot is this customizability. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that you have here that's different from other stores is this concept of a sofa bar. Yes. So the whole concept of the 22 Bond Street sofa bar is that ordering a sofa, even with full customization up the yin yang, is as easy as ordering a drink. So this is like your cocktail menu. Exactly. Right here. Yes. So people in LA, they're really, really used to pulling up to the bar. Yes. So you bring that concept in here to people that Los Angelinos and they get it. Yes, it's just a pre-digested idea that is applied in a different format of furniture, which is so rare. Dana and Sherry, thanks so much for being on In-Store Designer. It was really a pleasure to come here and see all of your Zen pieces. Yay, thanks it so was much. a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, welcome anytime. So, 
When I design, I typically consider the look and feel of a room. But Dana and Cherry of 22 Bond Street have really opened my eyes to what you can achieve when you consider all of the senses. Are you getting the full experience out of your designs? What's the dog's name? V for wonderful. I even like the sexy color she has on. <laughs>